Now, I don't know how many of you viewers were uh, fans and or supporters of Ron Paul, but I, I would imagine there's a good there's a good batch of you. Like humps on a camel. We sway the same way. But I never really understood fully and put it into words what uh, progressives despise so much about libertarians and anarchists. And, you know, I would think that what they do like is that there are things that libertarians don't agree with that the Republican parties do. And what they don't agree with is that libertarians don't in many cases believe there should be some sort of a political or a force mandate solution. Um, they see that without certain law and order going the way that they want without certain principalities, we'd just be standing around flinging poo at each other, you know? We would resort to, to caveman times, and it's only the law that, that keeps it all knit together. Oddly, that's where, where those two political parties seem to agree, is they dig the power. They just want to be the ones in control of it. Um, I am always concerned and always wary of the power. I don't think that... <laughs> I don't think that there's things aren't very healthy when when there is such power and such technology at the fingertips of these uh, these play, these people like the NSA that that just store metadata in the wings, waiting for the time that you're prosecuted for something, and then all of a sudden they can they can access all this metadata that nobody's bothering to track right now. But I guarantee you, it's being recorded as you talk, and you do something, you don't toe the line, and 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 it ends up being brought up and it the problem is where that where that interferes with your freedom is that that situation is almost a a default blackmail you know you you end up becoming uh you self-censor yourself to the point of almost harm you know and it's just not healthy and i don't dig it um but understanding what the political parties don't care for about the way that I think, you know, helps me, helps me look at and maybe reformulates my approach, you know, uh, change around the way that I word uh, what I want to say. But, uh, can't tell you this, there'll be plenty more of doses of daily dose of lamb dog between now and then, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, we'll see y'all later.